brothers and sisters, every single one of us in life would like to achieve so many things. Some of these Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows us to achieve whilst other things He does not allow us to achieve. And in the process, we are tested through and through in so many different ways, sometimes through our health and sometimes through our wealth, sometimes through our social relations, sometimes family members, various other issues. Some we can do a little bit about and others we cannot really do much about besides calling out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for help. Brothers and sisters, this is in line with the declaration of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wherein He says, Indeed, I will test every single one of you. Indeed, I will test you. And this test in so many ways, He says, Indeed, I will test every single one of you with some of hunger, some of fear, with loss of life, with lack of produce, so many things mentioned in different places in the Quran. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, good news to those who are forbearant, those who bear what is known as sabr. Sabr does not just translate as the term patience, but it includes forbearance as well. It also includes restraint. So good news to those who restrain themselves, to those who are forbearant, to those who bear sabr. Those who utter the term, we indeed belong to Allah and unto Him is our ultimate return. Because no matter what difficulty you and I will go through, and we will definitely go through difficulties, there is not a single one of us in existence that can comfortably say that I have had no problems or issues in my entire life. But it all depends on how we handle these issues with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So remember, Allah says, good news to those who are forbearing, those who realize that they are ultimately going to return to Allah and this life itself is very limited. So even if I have the biggest problems in the whole world, I need to know that life itself is so limited after which I will return to my maker who created me in the first place. And the mere fact that I am conscious of this should help me tag along every single day with hope in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My brothers and sisters, it is the plan of Allah to test us. And one of the reasons why He tests us in so many different ways is for us to get closer to Him. And this is why a mu'min, a believer who believes in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the minute he has an issue and a problem, he raises his hands to Allah. Perhaps he would fulfill some salah as the hadith says when the Prophet sallallahu was overtaken by any form of concern, immediately he rushed to salah. The Prophet sallallahu example is so powerful. We should be achieving coolness and calmness by linking ourselves more with our maker when we have an issue. And this is why sometimes the weakness of man is such that when everything is moving smoothly, according to our own whims and fancies, at times it does happen for a moment, we tend to forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How many of us are guilty of when we had a problem, we used to be regular with salah, we left our sins, we made our tawbah. The minute the problem was sorted out, may Allah protect us. We allowed shaitan to dilly-dally with us once again. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not do that to us. So because of that, when you have an issue, consider yourself fortunate to be turning to Allah. So many of us, we would get up for salah to tahajjud, but that was only when we had an issue. So wouldn't it be a gift of Allah to keep us in that particular condition so that we can continue to get up for salah to tahajjud, thereby achieving closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? We would like on one hand to be alleviated of the suffering we're going through. And on the other hand, 
We are reading salah which might just stop the minute that suffering is gone. This is why the Prophet says, Inna Allah idha ahabba abdan ibtalahu. When Allah loves someone, that is when He tests the person. These tests draw people even closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imagine, when I have a difficulty of any nature, and like I have just said, some of these problems are financial matters. I'm sure a lot of us might be having some form of pressure of a different level depending on what we've done with ourselves. And sometimes it's of a social matter, perhaps a marital issue, perhaps with our children, perhaps parents and relatives, perhaps our workplace, whatever else it is. These are tests from Allah and sometimes it's a health matter. May Allah grant cure to all those who are struggling in any way. Sometimes it is the taking away of the life of those who are close to us. These are tests of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imagine the warm tears that roll down the cheeks when we have this type of difficulty. Don't you think it's a blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where sometimes the hairs will stand when we listen to some recitation because the heart is softened by certain problems. So consider a problem a gift of Allah. Not always is it a punishment, but for a believer it is actually a means of earning greater closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَلَنَبْلُوَنَّكُمْ بِشَيْءٍ مِّنَ الْخَوْفِ وَالْجُوعِ وَنَقْصٍ مِّنَ الْأَمْوَالِ وَنَقْصٍ مِّنَ الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَنفُسِ وَالثَّمَرَاتِ وَبَشِّرِ الصَّابِرِينَ وَبَشِّرِ الصَّابِرِينَ الذين إذا أصابتهم مصيبة قالوا إن لله قالوا إن لله وإن إليه راجعون أولئك عليهم صلوات من ربهم ورحمة أولئك عليهم صلوات من ربهم ورحمة وأولئك هم المهتدون